you want to add custom themes to your stream? Let me show you how to do it. What's going on guys, my name is Kyle and welcome back to the game department. Today we're going to talk about how to add custom themes to your stream. Now if you've seen my video on is Streamlabs Prime worth it, you'll know with a Prime subscription you have access to themes, overlays, website themes, alert boxes, all sorts of fun stuff that you get to make your stream look a little bit nicer. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to it below. You can check that out. You might find some useful information in there. But if you have seen it and you do have a Prime subscription, obviously you get access to all this fun stuff. So I'm going to show you how to apply it and how to make your stream look completely new. Now when you open Streamlabs, this is essentially what you're going to see. You're going to have your editor display, your scene selector, your source selector, and your audio mixer. Now, on the top left here, you can see a bunch of different little icons. What you're looking for for themes is this little icon here, and when you hover over it, it'll say themes. So we're gonna click on that one, and it's gonna essentially bring up the theme workshop. Places that you can find the themes, all the new ones, all the fun stuff, and we're gonna go through and find one that's gonna best suit our stream. So if we go through, game categories, you can choose different games and what's going to suit you best. Um, I might go just added. So we'll look at the ones that are brand new to the site, brand new and, and ready to go. So you can be one of the first ones to pick these up and, and not be too oversaturated with the same theme everywhere. So what we might do is let's just pick a random thing. Do you know what? We'll pick this ranch theme. Why not? Right? It's got 21 installs. Not a lot of installs at all when you think about how many people are actually streaming and using Streamlabs. Only 20 other people have used this. So when you open up a different theme pack, what you're going to see is you're going to see essentially the first screen. It'll show you different webcams. It's got a stinger animation, which was that animation we just saw. Uh, and it's going to show you a bunch of different things and a bunch of different options that you can adapt to your specific stream. So you're going to have a starting soon screen. Uh, you're going to have an intermission screen. You're going to have a... A uh, pause screen, an ending screen, a bunch of different webcam overlays, uh, and then some little icons at the top to show your latest donations, all that sort of fun stuff. So to keep it plain and simple, we're just going to click install overlay. Now what that'll do is that'll install straight away to a different scene. So you'll have a specific scene collection called Ranch by Own TV, which it says down here. So I don't have a camera plugged into this computer, obviously for the same reason that I'm recording with the YouTube camera, this camera. So you're not going to see me twice. Just, you'll understand. So looking through some of these scenes here, the first scene that we're on is a live scene. So our live scene itself is going to have a webcam. It's going to have our border around the webcam. And then it's going to have little different icons here. This is obviously going to be for farming simulator, which is why there's tractors and wheat and things like that. Um, but obviously they're going to be different depending on what game you want to go for. So in this live scene, we have an alert box. We have our stream labels, which are going to be these things here, these different analytics. If you drop that down, you can see last sub, last follower, last year, last donation, and that's all pre-done for you. You don't have to do that. You can have it looking amazing straight away without having to tweak it, which is brilliant. Um, let's go down the scenes. We go starting soon. We've got a nice stinger transition, so that transition will pop in, pop out between every scene change. Makes it look a hell of a lot nicer, a lot more professional, which is sick. So you can click on these ones here. If you see it's got um, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, things like that. In your little sources, it'll say social media white. Click that, double click Twitter, change your name, the game net, done. Now it'll say Twitter is the game department. Super simple, add your handles, and you're gonna have a nice professional looking call to action for your social media so people can find you off stream as well, which is sick. Now going down the list further, you've got to be right back screen. Uh, this one, the same deal, edit your, your social media. Uh, when we have our just chatting screen, now this is going to be the intermission screen that you're going to have the most chance to talk to your viewer. Um, same deal, add your social media, add your camera. Obviously you're going to put your camera underneath this layer here. So as long as your camera is underneath that, it'll shine through the bottom part here, which is going to be amazing. And that's literally as simple as it is. Extra scenes down the bottom, if you want to add specific things, so on your, let's say your live scene, if you don't like this overlay, you can add this one. You can add this one, you can change a bunch of different things. If you don't like having these and you want to have this tall banner over the top, you can add that one in as well. It's completely flexible and completely dependent on how you want to make your stream look unique uh, to yourself. So if you want to change different themes or if you want to change the way it looks and you're not happy with this one, you want to try a different one, that's fine. You click this little arrow right next to where it says ranch and that'll bring up all of your different 
theme overlays and themes and things like that. So you can click back to the blank, which is the one that we had at the start, and that'll load a different theme. So let's go back into themes and we'll find another one that's gonna look a little bit nicer as well. Let's do this Borealis stream because it looks nice. I like the green, it's got a wicked looking stinger. Uh, what else has it got? It's also got an, an alert box pack. So you can get the custom alerts that come with this, this pack. You can download that separately and add that in as well. So let's just install this overlay. So 61 people have installed this overlay as well. Not a crazy huge amount. Um, when, you, when you're thinking again about how many people are streaming on Streamlabs, but it's still a relatively new theme, so it's obviously gonna jump up sooner or later. Now, same deal, going through this, you've got a really, really nice animated webcam border. You've got nice little icons down the bottom here showing your different stats. Let's go to our starting soon. Beautiful stinger transition, looks great. And even this, this just looks really nice. I really, really like this. If this is a look that suits your stream and it suits your brand, go nuts. This looks great. Uh, let's go to our Be Right Back. Same deal, stay connected. It's got all your different Instagram, Twitter, YouTube handles. Add those, same as the last one. So simple, it's foolproof. Uh, and let's go down to our Just Chatting, so we'll have a look at our intermission screen. Same, same deal. Put your camera underneath this main WebM page, and that's it. It's, it's mind-blowingly simple. If you can't work it out, watch the video again, because it is, it is so simple. Now let's say you've added a bunch of themes, you've done what you want to do, and you change your mind in the future, and you don't want them anymore, you want to get rid of them. Easy. Go to Ranch, which is the first one, click Delete. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. That's it. Borealis, you want to delete it? Delete it. That's it. It's simple. It'll go back to another theme. You can use whatever you want, change as much as you want, and obviously you can tweak them and make them unique to yourself. If you don't want to have that intermission screen and you want to use something different, maybe a, a full frame camera, do that. You don't have to use exactly what comes with the theme, but it does give you a really, really solid entry point to make your stream look a million dollars, literally. Now, I hope this video has helped you in some way. If it hasn't, please leave me a comment below. I'll do my best to help you out. If you want to check out my Twitch stream, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at twitch.tv forward slash the game department. Come say hey, I'd love to have you there. If you want to join the best Discord community in the world, I'll leave a link to that below. Come say hey, we've got a fantastic community of people talk about games and memes uh, and, ga and games, just a bunch of stuff. We just like talking about stuff. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of the content I post, I post videos here every Thursday. Feel free to chuck a subscribe, put the notifications on so you don't miss the next one. Other than that, guys, I'm going to leave you to it. I hope you have a good night. I hope you have a good morning. Bye!